Hey, this is Silicus, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Vengeance 1100. As requested, I kept it in the packaging. Sorry for all the glare. Um, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and click my sponsors if you'd like to support me. Anyway, back to the Corsair Vengeance 1100. This is the entry into it. their uh, gaming headsets. Uh, as you can see, it comes in a blister sort of pack look to it. It's very glossy. Inside, you can see the headset itself. Um, it's got an uh, insert in the back I've already taken out. Tells you a little bit about the product. Inside comes up pretty easy. Usually it would already be actually all strung up together. Has USB in the back, a little controller here in the front. This is Corsair. And uh, it's got a uh, microphone mute and off turn red, on, volume control. It's a slider. Headphone itself is some pretty tense plastic. It's uh, well made. I've had a lot of over the head uh, headphones before just to listen to audio. And these are definitely some of the sturdiest builds I've ever held, for sure. They have a nice thick back band that keeps the tension on it real nicely. Uh, the cable is uh, a little bit shorter than the uh, very, very long 1500 series Vengeance. Um, so you'll probably want to be a little bit closer. Uh, here's the fronts of them so you can see. It says Corsair. On the fronts, there, nice plasticky sort of substance to it, and uh, nice soft foam here. Helps cushion them on your head. Microphone. Microphone has a little bit of a shiny adornment here. The microphone itself is uh, quite pliable, as you can see. It uh, turns completely whichever direction you want it. So when it's on your head, there we go. It's on your head like this. Now, I have a hat on, so you lift it up, put it on your ears. There we go. You can adjust where you want it. Or even if you just want it, like, I don't even have it hooked over my ears. It's literally just, like, on my head right now. When I'm wearing a beanie, it doesn't bother my ears. Sometimes it bothers my ears if uh, I don't have a beanie on or I don't have a hat on of some sort because it tends to. And if you wear glasses, it, it yeah, don't do that. Um, it's kind of a pain. Uh, but once again, headphones are very uh, stylized. If you like a set of headphones style, like earbuds, over the head, circumural, full coverage, sounds that sit on your ears, whatever you like, go for it. As far as sound quality goes, these are amazing sounding headphones for the size. They are only 40 millimeters, so they tend to distort bass if you mess with your EQ too much. So in other words, if you go through, tweak your bass up, turn it up, it'll rattle a lot in classical music. Uh, somebody throws a grenade, any long, continuous, rumbling bass sound, you'll get some feedback when it'll noise and you won't appreciate it. So uh, don't do that. Uh, these are pretty cool. It's got a USB interface that allows you to do a couple of cool things. All right, so now the USB is here. It actually comes with a little plastic cap on it to protect it when you open it up. Basically standard, but this is the cool little feature of it. So this is the end of it. You can actually unhook it, and here it has the audio, and the other side is the pink side, which is your microphone. And you can plug them into your sound card like this if you have an analog, or you can attach them to the USB adapter and plug it in this way, and your computer will automatically recognize it and install it instantaneously. It's pretty cool, really easy to use. All right, so anyway. Once again, back to the headphones, you can get a good look at them. Pretty nice looking. Fit on your head good and snug. Once again, these are probably some of the best sounding headphones that are small, non-can, over the, over the ear headphones I've ever worn. They get a little bit sore, it, unless this is the particular style you're used to and that you like. Overall sound quality is great. Once again, these are the Corsair Vengeance 1100s. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you when I can. If you like my channel, subscribe. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Click my sponsors if you'd like to support me. Hope this helps you out.